This is a tutorial on how to use Deltec Time in Time and Expense 10. To start, navigate to the TND login page using the URL provided to you. Enter your username, password, and system into the appropriate boxes. Note, if this is your first time logging in, a username and password may be provided for you, and after logging in, you may be asked to change your password. Click Login. The Time and Expense Navigation menu hierarchy is broken down into Domain, Module, Application Group, and Application. Your security will determine what specific options are available. Within the Timesheet application, you will see a toolbar of icons at the top of the page. Some of the more common options are as follows. Save saves your data to the database. Save and Continue saves your data without clearing the screen and allows you to continue working on the current record. Execute populates the table window after you enter a series of filtering parameters into a search engine. I will show you an example of this functionality later. Page Setup allows you to configure your report display options. Choose from portrait and landscape layouts, select margins and paper sizes, select fonts, and whether to include footers and your company name and logo. Print Options displays the Print Options dialog box where you can change your printer options. You can choose your destinations, select specific pages for printing, select number of copies, and more. Preview menu displays the preview of the current report. Most screens offer a query button which when selected allows you to search for specific records. Enter your parameters into the Find or Query screens to search for records. If you repeatedly use the same query, you can save a query by entering your parameters and clicking the Save Query button. Afterwards, your query will be saved and selectable from the Saved Query screen. Most screens in CostPoint are available in both Form and Table View. Some options might only be available depending on the view you are utilizing. In order to toggle between views, you can select the Table or Form button from the title bar to toggle to the other view. In Form View, you can jump from one record to another using the left and right arrows. To enter time into your timesheet, using the navigation menu, select Time and Expense, Time, Timesheets, and Manage Timesheets. If you aren't working with an existing timesheet, click New to create a new timesheet. You will see that your timesheet will be populated with some basic information, including the employee name or ID, the period ending date, the status of your timesheet, the class that the employee is assigned to, and the signature and approval boxes that will be populated once the timesheet is signed and approved. To add a new charge line to your timesheet, click the New button in the Timesheet Lines box. To look up a charge to add, click on the magnifying glass located in the Project column. This will bring up the Charge Lookup screen. The Charge Lookup can be used to locate a project number using either Charge Trees or Filters. Charge Trees group projects into meaningful and logical categories. The categories you will use and want to be familiar with are Favorites, which are projects that you frequently charge time to and have saved using the Add Line to Favorites function. Direct Projects, which is for specific tasks under a contract, and Indirect, which is for overhead or corporate projects. If a charge tree description has a plus sign to the left, you can drill down to a lower level project until you reach the correct chargeable project. Locating a project number this way is similar to opening folders. Each folder may contain other folders or may only have projects to which you can charge time. Folders are used only to group project numbers and cannot be used to charge time. The Query button can be used to look up a project using entered search criteria. The project search requires a partial or full project number entry and the description search uses partial or full project description or name entry. Once you find the correct project, 
Click the box to the left of the project and click the Select button. Once a project number is entered or selected, the charge description and project number will display on the line. This data is provided for information only to help validate that you are charging to the correct project number. A project labor code will default and should be validated by the employee as the position worked. The position date is used on certain contract types for payroll and billing purposes and therefore is a critical piece of information. A drop-down box is available to select a different PLC if required. Once the project is selected, the pay type may default to the appropriate character. If it doesn't, click the grid below the pay type column and select the appropriate radio button from the code and description that displays. The pay type selected determines the calculation of gross payroll. Therefore, it is critical that each employee and supervisor review the data entered carefully for each line on the timesheet. In addition, all premium pay is determined based on the pay types entered on the timesheet. To charge hours to a project, locate the correct day and enter the amount of hours you want to charge. If you need to enter a comment to include with your charge, click the comment icon in the hours box and record additional or explanatory comments. Once you enter time, the totals for the row and column will automatically update. To copy a line, select the line by clicking the far left box and click Copy. To delete a line, select the line and click Delete. If you have not yet saved the selected line, this function will completely remove the line, including any entered hours, line comments, cell comments, and move up any lines below it. If you have already saved the selected line, Use the delete line function to zero out any unprocessed timesheet cell hours on that line. Cell comments on unprocessed cells, if they exist, will be made null. If there are no processed cells on the line, the line comment will be made null. When you save the timesheet, you must provide a revision explanation. To add a line to favorites, Select the line and then click Add Line to Favorites. This functionality can be used if you routinely use the same projects. To auto-load one of your favorites, select Charge Favorites. Select the Load checkbox for the rows that you want automatically loaded to your timesheets for each new period. To delete a project from your favorites, select the project and click Delete. Then click Close. Be sure to save your timesheet after entering your hours each day. Saving your timesheet does not submit your timesheet for approval, but saves the information you enter. To save your timesheet, select Save or Save and Continue from the toolbar. To submit your timesheet, you need to electronically sign it. By signing your timesheet, you are certifying the information entered is accurate. The signature field is located at the top right of your timesheet. To sign your timesheet, click the Sign button. If there are unresolved errors, you must correct them before signing. However, you are able to sign your timesheet if there are warnings. After you sign your timesheet, the status changes from Open to Signed, and your timesheet is sent to your supervisor for approval. If you are unable to submit your timesheet by the established deadline, your supervisor or your supervisor's backup may complete and sign the timesheet on your behalf. Subsequently, you must review the timesheet that was submitted for you for accuracy and document your agreement by signing the timesheet. If your primary supervisor signs your timesheet on your behalf, the timesheet must then be approved by the backup supervisor. Basically, the same person cannot both sign and approve the same timesheet. To log out of time and expense, click the logout icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Supervisors and backup supervisors have the ability to approve, reject, and manage the timesheets of their employees. To perform any of these actions, you need to navigate to Time and Expense, Time, Timesheets, and Manage and Approve Timesheets. 
If you are the primary supervisor, any outstanding actions will appear in the timesheet portion of the screen. If you are the backup supervisor and are approving a timesheet on behalf of someone else, or you need to enter a timesheet on behalf of someone else, you will need to search for the correct timesheet to manage. To do this, change the filter by box at the top of the screen to status and search for the timesheet using the criteria below. Ensure at least one of the status boxes is checked to get results. Click the Execute button once your criteria is entered. After the Execute button is selected, the timesheets that meet the criteria will appear in the middle of the screen. For existing timesheets, you can highlight the appropriate timesheet and the timesheet lines will show at the bottom of the screen. You can then view, modify, and sign or reject it. If your search criteria included missing status, you can manage timesheets that have not been started. You may need to perform this task if you are creating a timesheet for an employee. Click on the Missing Timesheets subtask to bring up a list of employees with missing timesheets. Highlight the appropriate line, then click on the Create Timesheets button. To approve or reject a timesheet, locate the timesheet you want to work with. Select the timesheet to view it. Once the timesheet has been reviewed, click the Approve or Reject button as necessary. If approved, the status changes from Signed to Approved. If rejected, you must enter a reason for rejection in the Comments dialog box, and then the status will change from Signed to Rejected. To check the leave balance of one of your employees, select the Leave button associated with the timesheet you are working with. To check your own leave balance, access your timesheet from the Manage Timesheet screen and click the Leave button associated with your timesheet. To correct a timesheet that has already been processed, select the Query button in the Manage Timesheet screen and enter the period ending date for the correction you need to enter. Then click Find. Once your requested timesheet appears, highlight the line by selecting the box to the far left and select the Correct button. Note, if the Correct button is not available, please contact your system administrator. In order to use the Correct button, your timesheet must be in the status of Processed. Also, the timesheet period will need to be open for you to enter the correction. You may need to request it to be opened. Your timesheet is now available to edit. If you need to reverse any time, you will need to add a new line and add negative hours. Save and sign as usual. Once finished in time and expense, click the logout button to exit.